Hello LEGO fans, Jarv Bricks here with another update. As you can see I've not replaced the roads from this side of the city yet. Five packs should do it incidentally. But I have fitted all of the roads around the main side of the city. As you can see, it looks quite nice. There's a, a mock car I made earlier this week, the other one. And then moving round. This is the bit you saw last time that I'd already done. Um, this long stretch of road is complete. I think it looks uh, really nice. Well, it, it is casting a lot of shadows onto the road from the buildings um, and it's purely because this the space is uh, tighter and then uh, over by the this side the uh, Chinatown let me just go through and show you from the other side And then here's just a, the pedestrian area and some market stalls coming around. And not got two yellow things for that, unfortunately. And do you know what the reason is? Let me show you, so if you can see from here. Um, let me zoom in. That's set there. Look at the zebra crossing. It doesn't come with the yellow bits. And I calculated that set to complete all the roads in the main side of the city. So that one zebra crossing has no yellow speed bumps. A little bit annoying, but there you go. That's, uh, can't do anything about it. I'm sure I will get some along the way. And I've done the other side over there just so it's equal to this one. And um, let me just see if I can get the market stores on so here we've just got uh, some news agents I can't see what I'm looking at anymore because my hands bent backwards a little bit of a comic or book shop fishing shop photographs posters coffee and biscuits a little ride and then just a little stand with supposed to be folded clothes on uh, there is a gap there which is going to be a bridge across the river to the chinatown uh, similar to the one in the middle of the water the, the lake the not lake the river over on that side um, but i want to use the bridge from the chinese garden set when that arrives and then i've got ordered the ninjago gardens which is going to replace uh, the location of Central Perk and uh, not sure where that will go yet but eventually I think all of this area on this side of the lake will be not the lake I said lake again the river canal whatever it might be um, will be Chinatown or Asia Town because Ninjago is supposed to be Japanese and that's it so yeah all the roads are fitted they, I think they look great they've created loads of space this is going to be where the police station will go it will only be temporary because uh, as i know as you know i don't have official buildings in my city only mocks so i want to remock the police station i have got a design in mind and i want it to go there where those uh, train carriages are and hopefully it's going to be about that high give or take which will just be um, you know from the all the buildings to the smaller ones uh, be nice and gradual that's the idea anyway and um, so as I said it will be there for a little bit until it is moved so I'll be making some new stuff there I also want to make some alleyways I've seen some pretty cool ones on Instagram um, you know just to go between the buildings here uh, you know just to go at the back as a wall across behind the buildings just so it'll give it a bit more character um, this will be moving not anytime soon but 
when I get round to doing this little mountain. It's only going to be about that high, but it's going to be Wayne Manor on the top. And then, uh, as I said last week on my last update, I've lit up underneath there as well. Um, hello, are they on? Yes, they are on. Um, ready for the back cave to go under the mountain. So just a few little things I need to do. I need to build this, uh, fit all of the traffic lights, signs, some of the signs are already on it, but the um, lamp posts as well. Um, I've got these ones that you get from modular buildings dotted around my city, so I need to decide which side are going to be the modern ones and which side are going to be the older ones. I need to put all these minifigures in the city and I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with all them. Uh, came with every road pack when I ordered uh, uh, 10 road packs, five from, or, uh, five from Amazon and five from the Lego shop because the Lego shop won't let you get more than five. Uh, so I'm sure I'll figure something out with them. I did make this. Uh, it's just supposed to be like a communications tower and that's just to go on top of the police station when it arrives. I think it'll be a bit big for being on the modular when that comes, but when I remock it and make my own, I think it will uh, fit in nicely. Uh, and that's it. So thank you for watching. Let us know what you think of these um, roads. I've had a little bit of a mixed feedback on them on the posts that I put on Instagram. Some people think they're great. Um, I would say 70% of them think they're great and 10% haven't really got an opinion, but you do get um, the rest who think they're absolutely rubbish. Uh, more than likely they've got the old ones and don't want the expense of um, paying out for the new ones. But having seen them in, I think they look great. You know, someone said they look like Lego Junior bricks. I can't see that to be honest, but um, I think they look really good. They've created loads of space. I got that space where I'm going to put the new police station through making these roads. Uh, I've got a 16 by 32 base plate building in the middle there and the same on the other side near the tree. Um, and I've also gained all of this uh, where the uh, canal is, this pedestrian walkway. And again, on the other side as this building here, the Palace Cinema, um, did pretty much go up to the edge of the flower bed. And then you had the bigger road plates after that. So there's a ton of room that's been created through doing this. And if you've got a city my size or smaller and you know, space is limited, I th really think the road plates have added to the city. For instance, when you've got, I've got the uh, old row plates here. I've worked out that I need another five sets to replace uh, that strip there. But uh, if I was to do that, I mean, it would be a 16 by 16 uh, plate. Hang on, let me get one. So, you know, you've got a row plate that is, is here. Um, if you wanted to have it right up to the edge, like so, now that's a ton of space there that you could make a whole pedestrian walkway right the way along. You could um, have market stalls, lots of smaller shops, uh, have a little bit of a, a promenade there. I mean, this is a river in the imaginary world of this city. So, you know, you could um, do anything with it. If you wanted to have it this side, you know, you'd have a bit of a pavement um, there, a bit of a walkway. So this building would be up to here, um, creating a lot more space here, but because of the angle of the roof, I could make all the buildings a little bit taller because they'd be here. You know, I, I just think it gives so many more options having these row plates. Yes, they are a little bit of expense if you've got ones already. I mean, one of the big questions that I keep asking is how, how am I raising the modular sets that I've got? 
and um, I, I said on my last video what I've done is just put the old road plates um, and just slid them underneath the modulars so I'm still using the road plates that I've, I've got and I've previously bought um, but it's just it's, it then it makes it sit proud by about two mil over the old road plates uh, sorry over the new road plates so you know it fits in really well so I'm uh, converted so what do you think are you for the new road plates or against let us know what you think in the comments below and when I've got another update I will see you then goodbye <laughs>